Also, I feel like I'm ready to continue telling you my story about Chinese items. You know, gardens were always a big part of Chinese culture. A very, very important element of an old traditional Chinese home was a courtyard, and very often a courtyard was designed as a small garden or as a huge garden. Anyway, if gardens exist, then certainly some garden furniture is needed. The Internet says that this type of barrel-shaped garden stools appeared in China already in the 5th century. They were made of wood and decorated by some ornaments. Unfortunately, I could not find good photos of Chinese paintings to confirm this statement. So we have to enjoy what I have. It's also written in the Internet that this particular barrel-shaped form comes from a traditional Chinese big drum. Tangu. Ancient wooden drums were used in monasteries during rituals, and then, after long rituals, monks had the opportunity to have a short rest of them. Well, that I can believe, because every Chinese garden stool, no matter it's modern or antique, Every Chinese garden stool has a particular typical decoration. Have a look. A decorative motif looks like an imitation of nail heads around the upper and lower parts. Such a motif might really come from ancient Chinese drums. A wooden base of a drum was covered by leather and fixed with nails. Well, we got that settled. Garden stools were first created in China as wooden stools in the shape of ancient Chinese drums. They were made of stones also, and then came ceramic, pottery, porcelain, and the garden stool got to be lighter in weight, and brighter. The antique garden stools, as we know them now, are dated back to the beginning of the 17th century. These pottery or porcelain stools were widespread in China and were used both in gardens and inside the houses as everyday furniture. They are quite light because they are hollow inside and they have a broad range of decoration. And you see, all stools have one common nail head motif. Such stools have been exported to Europe since 18th century. However, they gained wide popularity only in the second half of the 20th century. But at that time, there was a real boom. As for our time, after we all got this dangerous Chinese coronavirus, I'm not sure if after that anyone is ready to let some Chinese item come into the house. However, before the current pandemic, Ceramic garden stools have been very fond by designers and interior decorators, and they were often flashing on pages of fashion magazines. Their unique style and colors can add an eye-catching accent in every space. Now, in addition to Chinese production, Many well-known international interior brands offer a wide selection of garden stools. Modern interpretations are often monochrome, silver, gold, or outstanding bright 
colors. Moreover, the versatility of these items are almost unlimited. And indeed, a keramic garden stool can be a chair and a bar stool and a bedside table in a bedroom and a little coffee table in a living room and a stand for flowers or books and some stand in the bathrooms and shower cabins or on the garden terrace and, and, and. It can be also used as a sculpture, as some art object. One can apply it everywhere and it will be always a useful, perfect decor item. Okay, that's actually all I want to say. I, st I stop talking. It's better to see the pictures. Thanks for watching.